Hey, well, you know what? There were a couple things on my mind. And uh, it was funny, not funny, it, it funny, unfunny, you know, <laughs> I can't let me approach this in their way. We did not enjoy watching you feel humiliated by you two. Oh, that's okay. I pre- you know what but, I pre- I appreciate that because I I, I um, you guys are I'm a big fan of of you guys and I appreciate the support. But what we were doing was we had been monitoring this for eight months, ten months now, and like I said, I don't know if you saw that email where I said to you, none of this is a su- a surprise to us, right? Because we're watching how the ads are changing on certain channels. And if I was uh, in a marketing department of some of these companies, I would have to be thinking, we're getting no return on clicks. And we were trying to figure out how this could possibly go on. Went back to school when I turned 50, got another degree. We're always students, aren't we? Yeah. And um, actually this fall, one of the things I've been doing is I'm teaching classes also. Wow. What, so are, you, that, what are you teaching? I'm teaching Photoshop and web design. Oh, okay. I'm studying for an exam right now, so old flashcards out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, in fact, well, I've got some things I'm doing, too, where I'm uh, the one class is, tends towards databases and things. So I, just things I'm not aware of, or I'm aware of them, but I need a lot more knowledge to uh, do the work that I want to do. Right. Like when you go to uh, usframecrew.com, I hand built that site. There are no templates. That was I took a blank piece of paper and I started to code it and built that. And in fact, I'm working on a whole redesign for the the home page because the main thing for us was to get it up and have search engines find it as soon as possible. Right. And I, now I'll work on what I really want it to look like. I, I, I'm glad you're doing that site because I think a lot of us that have content that we enjoy that's in that same um, genre, um, migrating to a site like that where it's all in one spot is a great idea. Well, and also, uh, I'll be hosting a lot of my own videos instead of YouTube so that I can control at least 40 to 50% of the content I mean, I have all my videos that I uploaded to YouTube. Right. But let's say something happens there or it becomes expensive. Um, what do you do? Then, then I've got my own servers, my own site. We are probably considered part of the gun community, as you are. But I know that our main skills and interests do, are not outside, or, outside or, or, right, or outside of the gun community. Even though I look at guns as part of America, like we already are part of that community. Right. I do, and see, I do. I, I do. Yeah. And the, well, the same with you. We enjoy watching you and Matt shoot. There's no doubt about that. But the amount of times that a gun will be the tool that we are having in use, I don't even think we could put a percentage on that. Right. It's so, so small. Right. Right, and and everything that we have coming up involving firearms is either Jared doing a disassembly and a maintenance, yeah, uh, modifying a piece perhaps, or some of the target systems and ballistics tests that we we do because they also interest us. Right, I, I see too many videos where a fellow says, "I take my new nine mil out for shooting," and the whole video we don't even see a target or the range. Right. And and that's why I said to Jared after a while, I watch a lot more bushcraft, your videos on first aid, things where I can really utilize that through my day in my life. Right. It's- yeah, but I mean, I think if you watch our shooting, there's very little where the subject is, watch me waste shooting. some ammo. Right. Either we're killing zombies, whatever it is, we're romping through the woods. Because I know how I feel when it's just another look at my gun video. Right. You know, I mean, I experienced that too. Right. I prefer right. a forum, which I think we're going to put on our site. Oh, cool. So okay. that then we can really communicate and talk to each other. You know, certain projects follow it. It's not always easy, as you know, to have every moment of everything you do on film documented because of the time that it takes to get it to YouTube. I know. Hey, when I watch what you do, nothing fancy, 
a, a whole lot of guys. I don't want to cut anybody short. Right. We know what kind of time is involved to edit three to five minutes and make sure it's not wasteful. And then that upload time, you got to hang out, keep checking. It takes you, you know, if YouTube dumped you, right? You know, you might have lost a connection. Then it's done uploading, it fails, and it goes on and on. But as I have been telling people, when they said, "What are you guys going to do when you run out of ideas?" I said, "We haven't scratched it on my desktop now. A couple monitors here. I probably have 150 to 200." different videos oh me too that would be ready in an hour me too i you know i i, I think i mentioned this well you know, we noticed that about you too like every month there's there's this new interest that you have already have like that pops in like the ham radio right which has caught our interest and we're watching because we're wondering because we know that in emergencies oh. these cell phones haven't worked the cell phones just have not worked and that was something i was going to ask you does the ham radios, uh, they work independent of everything else, don't they? Independent of everything else. And in fact, I'm going to be doing a video talking about a storm that we had last year, just to illustrate. But we had a, a storm last year where uh, we have a sister hospital out on the coast. And they were totally isolated because big trees went down. The roads were blocked for several weeks. Uh, power was down and water was out and all communications in the town was down. So ham radio operators provided uh, radio support for fire, ambulance, as well as the hospital. And our hospital communicated with that hospital uh, twice per day. Our executive officer would come down to our um, incident command center and with the help of ham radio operators would do an update and find out what was going on at the hospital and what we needed to do to help support them so yeah totally independent of cell phones and that's that's something that has caught our interest you know that yeah. other than the, the fun aspect of it well, it's, that it's, it does it's, have it's totally fun